Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs for SCPM. We are on a mission to be doing every possible MCQ. Part of that mission is done when we completed the MCQs from the module. Complete details, summary, concepts, everything is there on our YouTube channel. You all can go through those lectures first and then come back for these further MCQs. These are the closest whatever you can be getting for exams. One disclaimer, if there is any question in the Board of Studies portal that has already been covered in the modules, then those questions I will not be doing to avoid duplication. And in case you will require any help, you can call us on 8080-32444 uh, or write to us on Telegram at the rate AJNX, that's our ID. And in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course, link is there in the description. Now with that, we will start away the question for today. It's chapter number three, that is lean systems and innovations. In this chapter, we learn all the techniques, how to be cutting down the waste and making the process lean. Lean, you might have heard of like, you know, you have a lean body. That means like, you know, you have less amount of fat in your body. So therefore, from there only that word comes. So the question for today is about just in time. And the question is, a company follows just in time systems for materials. Procurement and production. An accountant finds the difference between accounting records of the company and the actual inventory. So therefore, they took the records as per accounts and they actually counted the stock. But there was a difference. The company uses black, uh, back flushing system of accounting to track inventory. What do you mean by back flushing system? Let's see that. But possible reasons for this would be inaccurate production figures entered by the production staff due to lack of training. Second, abnormal loss during the production is not tracked by the production staff. Okay, third one, back flushing transaction posting utilization of the raw material happens only at the end of the day when the production is complete. Okay, fourth one, back flushing costing records components used for WIP while inventory is accounted at the end of the day by the production staff. Now they are saying that like, you know, there was a difference between the physical stock and the stock from the accounts and for accounting, they all use back flush accounting. They are asking you that why this difference can be. Okay. I'll come back to the question in just a while, but I'm just trying to see what are the options that I have. So options are first one, one, two, and four. Okay. Then one, two, and three. Okay. One, three, and four. Okay. Last one, one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, just before I come back to all these options, uh, what do you mean by back flush accounting? Now, back flush accounting works like this. See, now this is accounting technique whereby you all have opening material inventory. See, the thing is that uh, back flushing accounting is back, okay, trying to go back. Usually, how do you find out your closing stock? Think like this. You all have opening stock, you add purchases, less the consumption. That gives you the closing stock. But consumption is tricky stuff to find out, no? Because consumption is happening in the factory. So therefore, many times it used to be going wrong. So therefore, a new system came called as back flush accounting, whereby time devoted to make accounts actually becomes very less. This was a new system that was devised, whereby you spend very less amount of time in trying to figure out what the consumption was. So over here, what do we do? First two things are same. We try to be having, we must be knowing our opening stock, right? Okay. And then we try to see what are the invoices from the supplier that we all have received. So therefore, that must be our purchases. We have the purchases information based upon invoice received from the supplier. Now, in this case, try to be thinking, we want consumption. So what to do for consumption now? What do we do? Simple stuff. We try to make a standard cost card. Standard cost card means what? For one unit of the complete product, what is the amount of raw material that you require? Okay, suppose for one unit of the product, five units of raw material are required. Okay, so therefore then what to do? For one unit, five units of raw material are required. Suppose at the end of the day, we produced 100 units. Okay, so therefore how much consumption must have happened? Five, uh, 500. So therefore, consumption is not recorded till the time production comes to an end. There should not be any WIP stock. There is a pre-requirement of uh, this entire system. There is a back flush, in, uh, back flush system. So therefore, you make a standard cost card, determine how many units of raw material are required for one unit of your product. At the end of the day, when you know production completed, multiply the production completed by the number of units required to produce one unit of the product. Okay. 
that in my example was 500 that will give you the consumption so that's your third step based on production completed or finished goods and standard material required per unit consumption is determined and then finally the closing stock obviously will be a plus b minus c now try to be thinking that this kind of a system will have its own drawbacks what drawback listen to this this was a question right i told you i'll come back to it so why there could be differences see how are you trying to be determining your closing stock that's opening stock plus the production less sorry uh opening stock plus the purchases less consumption that was based upon the production that happened correct I'll give you the closing stock. Now, why this closing stock might not be correct? First possible reason that ICA says, inaccurate production figures entered by the production staff due to lack of training. Of course, yes, this has to be correct only. Because if the workers will enter the wrong production figure, consumption will also be wrong. Ultimately, closing stock will also be wrong. Suppose, try to be thinking, we had produced 100 units for one unit of the product, five units of raw material were required. So, in this case, 500 should have been the consumption. But instead of recording 100 units, they recorded only 90 units of the product because might be their counting was wrong or they were lazy, whatever. Okay. So, 90 into 5, they recorded consumption as 450. So, in that case, your closing stock in books will be higher by 50. Okay. Because consumption was recorded less. Okay. So, therefore, that is a fault. Okay. So, due to this, the actual stock will be different from whatever you will show in your books of accounts. First, second, abnormal loss during production is not tracked by the production staff. Of course, you all will understand if there is some abnormal loss happening and that is not tracked by the staff, your actual stock and the stock as per the books. Okay, ultimately will be wrong only, you know, because you did not record the abnormal loss that was there. Okay, suppose five units of raw material got wasted. So that much amount of stock should be less. So therefore, this has to be adjusted in the closing stock. But if it was not, then your stock will be wrong. Third, back flushing transaction, posting utilization of the raw material inventory only happens at the end of the day when the production is completed. See, you all will understand that during the day, Okay, when your production is going on, no consumption in entry is recorded. Okay, when is the consumption recorded? When the production is finished. Okay, that is usually at the end of the day because we do not wish to be keeping any WIP stock. So, till that time, you know, that posting happens. Your closing stock will always be wrong because consumption was not recorded only because consumption gets recorded at the end of the day when the production gets completed. Okay, so third one should also be correct. The fourth one. Back flushing costing records, components used for WIP, while inventory is accounted by the staff at the end of the day by the production staff. Now, fourth point doesn't make sense to me. Back flushing costing records, components used for WIP. No. Back flushing only tries to record the components based upon the production that is completed, not based upon the WIP. In fact, one of the requirements for back flushing to happen is that there should not be any WIP stock. And that is why we usually wait till the end of the day. So therefore, all the things in process are completed and then the consumption gets recorded. Okay. So therefore, out of the four, I think so. The fourth should be the incorrect one. So one, two and three should be correct. Okay. Uh, this is the explanation that's there. So I guess one, two and three should be correct. Yeah, so answer is point number two over here. Okay, that's it for today. For such interesting con uh, questions, do subscribe to our channel. It takes a lot amount of efforts from our side to be coming out with a video of every possible MCQ. We are trying to go in depth for each and every MCQ. So therefore, once you watch these kind of MCQs, automatically your syllabus is more or less done. And just before I wind, uh, wind off, this is the QR code for the questions of the module for SCPM. Ensure that you watch these lectures and then come back for further board of studies question. And till then, we meet next time. Take care of your health. That is very 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 important especially in a course like ca do ensure that you all play everything you all play every day for some time chat with your friends all those things are part of life ensure that because of ca you are not missing out on all these things i'll see you all next time bye